Hello everyone, welcome back to Gomes Tech Talks channel. I'm Dr. Komati. In this video, we are going to discuss most useful table properties in Business Central. That is table and table field properties in Business Central. I'll be discussing five important properties which I usually prefer. I'll also tell you with an example when to use that uh, property, when not to use that property and how to use that property and where it will be uh, really useful and what type of data types you can use for that if you are going to use that property. So before we proceed, I'd like to tell you that this is my channel, Gomes Tech Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go and subscribe now. And if you want to join as a member, please join here to have an exclusive access to the perks, um, PPTs, documents, PDFs and everything and in this is the playlist here you can find the playlist if you click here you can find the playlist where you have a functional consultant playlist interview questions mini projects and also the playlist for technical consultant i'll be updating all these uh, playlists every week at least once every week so please go and check here so let us start discussing about the five important properties. So this is a part one while we'll be discussing next in the next video, we'll be discussing about the part two as well. So the first property which I wanted to discuss is what auto increment property. This is basically a field level property. Field is what? This is the field. If you wanted to know about what is a table, if you are not aware of the basics of table fields and everything, please go and watch my playlist here where you can see the complete information about the table what is table what is a field uh, what is a key why should we create a key everything here you can go and watch it here okay so this is what uh, auto increment which is specifically for the field okay so you can use this auto increment property just type auto in auto increment which will be like you can make it a true okay so use this auto increment property when you need a unique identifier for each record for example every you are every record should have a unique identifier like one two three four five then you can go ahead with the auto increment property it is particularly useful when you want to ensure that each entry in a table has a distinct number without a manually entering it what it will do if you are making this my field for example if you are making id field as a auto increment value automatically automatically what it will do is automatically what it will do is what okay it will auto increment the value okay it will automatically increment your value increment the id value like one two three four five you don't want to remember all these things when not to use this if you are no, you, you should not use this property when you need to manually assign the value for example if your employee id is like your company name 001 or you wanted to manually enter is don't use this okay and avoid using it if you require consecutive number without graphs okay uh, if you require like for example uh, uh, like uh, you are because deleted records numbers are not reused and rollback transactions can create gaps okay so uh, you cannot use this if you want to uh, uh, require consecutive numbers without gaps and do not use it with a temporary table don't use it with a temporary table okay no in temporary table so what is a temporary table so here you can tell the table type is equal to what type of table it is okay so normal table temporary table microsoft graph or something so you should not use it with the temporary table so keep that in mind and why to use this because to automatically create a unique value okay and this can be used only in the table the first two thing is this can be used only in the table and this can be used only for integer data type or big integer data type you cannot use this for the text data type it will throw you an error okay if you just make it as text data type this auto increment will throw you error just go and see what is that error it is showing it is not applicable for this type okay so this is applicable only for uh, a big integer boolean date decimal duration integer time and date time so you can go ahead with integer big integer date i think date is also fine with this okay and it will not allow text value 
okay a table can contain only one auto increment the another thing okay so for example if i'm creating an another field where i wanted to make this another field as uh, employee alternate number okay emp alt uh, id okay and i'm making this as uh, uh, integer and if i'm trying to create this as an auto increment okay it will throw you error what error it will throw you because auto increment is already defined you cannot create a second auto increment value for this so this is what the pros and cons of an auto increment value uh, so um, uh, and uh, the next one next property which i really like is what the min value property so you can tell for example if you have a field uh, like salary okay i have a salary field here um, and i'm making it as decimal okay and uh, you wanted to tell that my uh, in all my data entry my minimum value for the salary will not go under 5000 okay then you can use this min value okay this is used to set the minimum allowable value for a field so table field like if you wanted to make the this is actually possible with the page as well okay minimum value so this is applicable only for what this is applicable for integer decimal date and time okay you cannot do it for text so this is what minimum value and the minimum value setting enforced during field validation which occurs when a field's value update through the user interface okay so if you are updating through the user interface and if it is going below this limit it will throw you an error that is minimum it should be 5000 okay and when you should use this property is when you need to ensure that the data entered into a field does not fall below a certain threshold this is particularly useful for fields that represent quantities like price dates or something okay and when not to, when not to use this is what um, if there is no logical minimum value for the field or if you want to allow any value to be entered including a negative number then you should not use this okay and this is this is how you can use this this is used to used for validation as well and you have also maximum value if you want to set the maximum value for this particular field that it will not go beyond 5 lakh then 100,000 lakh okay so it will not go beyond the 5 lakhs then you can go ahead with the max value so this is to set the maximum allowable value for the field okay between this 5,000 and 5 lakh any numbers can be entered for example uh, 10,000 18,500 is or uh, all these values are possible and even this max value is applicable only for integers decimals dates time etc not for text okay and max value setting is enforced during field validation which occurs when a field's value is updated through the user interface such as when user enters a value on the page so you should end uh, you should use this property when you need to ensure that the data entered into a field does not exceed a certain limit so this usually we will be using it for quantities representing the quantities prices dates or other numerical values and you should not use this maximum value if there is no logical maximum value for the field or if you want to allow any value to be entered okay and the next one which i wanted to tell you is what lookup page id so lookup page id is table level property where you can tell what is the uh, page id you wanted to just uh, look up for so you can simply tell the page id number so this property is used to specify the id of the page that should be used as a lookup for field uh, here uh, is what here is what um, that is a lookup provides a list of records for the associated table users can use this set a particular set of list to select a record and populate the field with information from the record okay so the lookup page id property uh, sets the specific page that will be used to display this list of records for a selection so you should use this property when you want to provide users with a specific page to search for the selected records for a field uh, or rather than a default list okay so this lookup page id you can also use it in a list list page uh that is specifically for the list page we will be using it okay 
so you can use this by simply uh, using this lookup page id and a property that is which page id id of the page you can add it as well and finally to talk about uh, we have one more exciting i have one more exciting a uh, property called blank zero okay so blank zero uh, is a property that you can set on table fields and page fields to control the display of zero values okay so what is the behavior when blank zero is set to true if you are setting a blank zero to true uh, and enumeration value no will not be displayed in the field the field will be blank instead okay if you are setting a blank zero to true what happens uh, you are allowing the blank value to true okay you are allowing the blank value to true so this blank zero property when you want to improve the readability of the data by hiding zero someone should not enter zero uh, in that case you can make this blank to true this can make tables and pages look cleaner and draw attention to non zero values and it is particularly useful in financial data when zero amounts might not be necessary to display and can be visually omitted to focus on more significant figures so yes um this are uh, my most uh, useful list of uh, properties so this is part 1 i'll be discussing about uh, and five more properties in the next video for sure if you have any other topics in your mind if you wanted to uh, know anything further please let me know i can uh, i can help you out thank you take care and bye bye